Hey guys, we're back with another movie review. Today we're going to talk about Batman Begins. Since The Dark Knight is coming out next week, I thought let's do it this week and get it. Let's do the reviews of the first two before movies of The Dark Knight Rises, and then when it comes out, we'll review that. So, let's talk about the first movie that came out from Christopher Nolan, from the Batman series, Batman Begins. Let's talk about Batman Games. Now, Batman Games stars Christian Bale, we've got Liam Neeson as Ral Agul, and we've got uh, Commissioner Gordon as Gary Oldman, and then you've got the Scarecrow, who's I don't know, played by, then you've got the, um, and then you've got Rachel, Rachel! You've got Rachel, who's getting divorced, the actress is getting divorced, and I always forget her name, Katie Holmes. The why I always think it's Tofi, I don't know. And you've got her as Rachel. Rachel. Rachel! And then um, you've also got Malkine as um, Alfred. And then you've also got Big Cast, isn't it? Then you've got, last but not least, Morgan Freeman as a Skyworks in um, Bruce Wayne's company. Now, Batman Begins is, um, you really, you really go behind the scenes, I guess, you really go behind his back, Batman's backstory, and you really see how the, his death of his parents really had, um, a struggle on him, how it really made him question things, like, if I didn't, if this was, the death was my fault, why did I take them out of that theatre, if we stayed in there, they would have been still, being alive today, but, yeah, so... That's really it, and um, you know, he wants to, you know, just to save Gotham, and you know, just to say that you know Gotham doesn't isn't run by the enemies. They have their own people there. They don't need to take no. They don't need to take crap from these villains and stuff like that. And um, let's talk about Batman. Batman Begins is a great movie, a great way to start off the series on a great no, and so um. But the Scarecrow in this movie was alright. Didn't love it. Um, he was good, but I didn't love him. He, he was a bit... I mean, of course, everyone was joking more, but... He was good, but not... I mean, he was just... He was up here, but just not up there, really. And then you've got... Liam Neeson's movie is fantastic, as Rala Ghul, who's helping um, Bruce Wayne to get stronger, to get... Not to, to face his fears, not to get scared. And just to be brave, and you know that's how he's becoming Batman. So he, he, he's not afraid of anything. He's not afraid of bats anymore. And you know, really good movie. Katie Holmes' movie. I, I mean, they could have had Maggie Gyllenhaal, but they decided not to. But um, whatever they placed her in the Dark Knight. But um, she was alright in this movie. She was alright as Rachel. She wasn't in it that much of the movie as Ma as the other Rachel was in the Dark Knight. But that's how it goes. And, um, um, Commissioner Gordon, greatness movie, is always good, you know, he knows what he's doing, and, um, Mo Morgan Freeman again, he's just an awesome guy, I mean, he was God in this movie, he really kept him up, um, but he's always playing God, isn't he, so, yeah, Batman Begins, fantastic movie, loved it from the start to finish, just, the only problem really was the Scarecrow, didn't love him, didn't, I liked him, but just didn't outstandingly love him, but, um, yeah, as Batman Begins, great way to start off the series, this movie is fantastic, you've already seen this movie, if you haven't, what are you doing, what are you doing, but then, um, yeah, so great movie, great way to start off the Batman, the new Batman series, because the last time we had one was High Freeze and Batman, and why, you know why the dinosaurs died, it's because of the Ice Age, everyone chill. Allow me to break the ice. We don't want that to just end, and that was the Batman movie. We don't want that. It's a great way to reboot it. And I remember, like, watching this movie going in, was like, is it going to be good? Because, you know, we just had Batman. We've not just had, but our last movie we saw Batman was in, with Batman and Robin. So is this going to be good? And yes, thank God for Christopher Nolan for popping in, in this, no, flying in there. There we go flying his way with his bat wings into um, this movie and right and just directing the crap out of it and going, you know what, no more crappy, we don't need to think about it, I mean, no, we don't need it in our lives, it's gone, it's vanished, it's a dust, it's just go, and there it goes, Batman and Robin's flying, 
was going. It's gone. It's out of our lives. And now we have these movies to cherish and love. So that's Batman Begins. Great movie. Great way to start off. So I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. Okay, just taking that one little dot because of the Dark Knight, how epic and big it was, and just because of that scarecrow. Didn't love him, man. Okay, you know. And yeah, so that's Batman Begins. Definitely check this movie out. Great movie if you've seen it. Again, I'm not listening to anything if you've seen it. Just, just go watch it now. And um, that's Batman Begins. Great movie. Great, great way to start off. So that's my review of Batman Begins.